Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Despite what some people would have you believe, I, I don't generally have a problem with many companies out there. Uh, just because I don't happen to use every single one of Microsoft's products doesn't mean that I hate Microsoft. Uh, just because I don't use every one of Apple's products doesn't mean that I hate Apple. Just because I don't use every one of Google's products doesn't mean that I hate Google. Some false logic that some people have in their minds because they want to cram me into a box where their idea of me is. But I don't live inside the mental construct you've provided for me. I am myself. And as such, I can make my own choices. And newsflash, you can make your own choices too. If you see a product or a service that you want to use, hey, go for it. Nothing's stopping you. You're free to make your own decisions. Now, some people wanted to buy those things called Chromebooks. Uh, Google had uh, put together these uh, laptops running their own operating system, a web-based operating system or largely web-based. Everything lives in the cloud. Uh, and they designed it originally with one purpose. Uh, you would live inside the web browser. You don't need Windows. You don't need separate this, that, or the other thing. Let's, let's move that paradigm forward. Uh, what do you need in an operating system? All you need is a web browser, and then we'll just run everything through the web browser. Well, they kind of backtracked on that. In case you didn't notice, uh, Google Chrome's OS, or I should say the Google Chrome OS, or Google's Chrome OS. I had to place the apostrophe in the appropriate position there. Uh, they kind of recanted. The new version is more Windows-esque. So you've got little taskbar icons. Uh, you've got windows that can be moved and dragged around rather than this single window, which is less of a window. and It's just more of a browser interface. It's available right now. Uh, so now you have the ability, uh, a better ability, to access files and uh, folders. So it's becoming more traditional in the way that we think of operating systems. So why is Google doing this? Well, I, I think they're, they're setting the stage. Uh, and, and many people are going to disagree with me here, and they're more than welcome to. Uh, if you haven't been watching what Google's been doing with Chrome, and I, just FYI, you know it, uh, you've seen it before, uh, I use Google Chrome. It's my favorite web browser for any operating system. I live on, si uh, on side. I live on the dev channel for Google Chrome here. Look, I can prove it. Uh, let me go into Google Chrome. I've got it open right now. See, Google Chrome is up to date. Right now, they're up to version 20, and I've got all the tabs open. I love Google Chrome. Uh, th th it is, honestly, the browser to beat. And to tell you the truth, I never like Firefox. So uh, what's interesting is the features that they're building into uh, the Google Chrome Foundation, or Chromium, uh, which enable uh, native client functionality, uh, executing uh, you know code that's out there on the web as if it was a native or natively compiled binary on a local machine. And they're also including touch-based or gesture uh, modifications to uh, Chrome's foundation. So why would Google be doing this? Native client touch functionality. Now let's add that foundation as well as others to uh, Google uh, possibly opening up a store for tablets this summer. Now here's the question. What operating system will those tablets from Google run? Now many of you would say, oh, it's going to be Android. You sure about that? Android tablets haven't done well, even though I'm sure thousands have been purchased, maybe even millions. I know millions have certainly shipped. But Google's having to do this because, generally speaking, they, they've kind of been a, a failure. Samsung's making a lot of money with their hardware because they got so many devices, and not just tablets, but also smartphones as well. Uh, and Android runs well, or at least well enough. Uh, Chromebooks haven't taken off, probably because they're a bit overpriced for what you get. Uh, I would have hoped that Google could move that, uh, I guess, price point down a bit. Uh, interesting idea, certainly, an operating system that needs an internet connection to run, where everything runs remotely and things can be synchronized across sessions. Uh, but I would speculate, and I have no insider information, I would speculate that if Google launches a tablet this summer, that tablet will not run Android, but it'll run Google's Chrome OS. They've got the features and functionality baked in. They're letting all the other manufacturers take the Android ball and run with it. Uh, why not build something unique that only Google can build with 
the Google Chrome OS, the way that Google wants to build it. Oh, they could do the same thing with Android. Yes, they could. But what's to say that Google isn't possibly going to eventually merge Android and Chrome OS? Uh, what do we need on a tablet computer? Apps. And a web browser. Uh, but apps. And that's kind of what they're putting together with the native client functionality in uh, Google Chrome, or at least the foundation in Chromium. I honestly think that uh, if Google ships a tablet this summer, it won't run Android. You can agree or disagree. Time will prove me right or wrong. It's just a guess. It's a wild guess. Why would they be building in touch functionality to a Chromium? Why? Ask yourself that. Why? Where else are touch computers available where Google Chrome is also available? You know, Windows. Yes, you could on you know, Windows. Certainly, it's a big part of the market, but would they really need to build that kind of functionality in just for Windows? Why? Ask yourself that. Uh, so, is the, the new Google Chrome OS, uh, in going to this windowed uh, environment, is this a, an admission of a mistake or just uh, realizing that they needed to grow to meet the needs of the marketplace? I would say that Chromebooks would have been wildly successful if they came in at a much lower price point. Just like Amazon's Kindle Fire was wildly successful, is wildly successful, not because it's affordable, but because Amazon wraps all its other services around it. I think Google's finally getting the hint experience is a big deal. So, uh, there's some discussion points. Any other Chromebook users out there? Uh, take a look at the story we've posted there on Locker Gnome as we linked in the video's description. I'll certainly be interested in watching, and yeah, to tell you the truth, uh, depending on price, I would consider buying, just like I said, I would possibly buy a Chromebook if the price was right. I'd consider buying a Chrome OS-driven tablet. Absolutely. Mark my words. But again, if the price is right.